we are going to be talking about corporate social responsibilities, new re new rules and new vistas. Essentially, the new rules that have been uh, framed and what lies ahead for the companies who have to implement them and the spirit in which they do it and whether that will achieve the objectives that it's been uh, originally drafted for. Well, I think the first challenge is to just get everybody on board to try and create uh, an enabling atmosphere to try and dispel some of the apprehensions and doubts that naturally corporates might well feel and to understand that it's not something that is a compulsion it's something that we want them to do because they want to do it I think uh, from the perspective of industry after the initial apprehensions and uneasiness which, uh, which any new change and something certainly something like a CSR which was largely seen as you know what you do because you, you you do it for the larger good it was not something that was really measured from a business perspective uh, it did cause uh, a flutter it caused une uneasiness because the debate was that it should not be something that's mandatory and that there are many companies which will now perhaps look at it only from a you know tick box kind of a thing uh, we no longer claim to be the monopoly providers of public services we no longer claim to be the monopoly provider of, of development-oriented spending or programs. And we acknowledge that's the other important message that I think we should uh, explicitly recognize. The private sector can do it better, can, can target it better, can be more efficient, can bring better technology to it. That is the expectation. Corporates who are already doing CSR even before the act was put into place, including the schedule itself. Having said that, what I see is more, most of the companies are now in the process of and, and uh, some of them have already formed their CSR committees. Uh, they have started appraising and assessing the projects.